This is a mid 19th century cabin table. What's a cabin table? Well, as it sounds, it's a versatile piece of furniture, a table, but with drawers made for use on board ship in a cabin where of course you've got restrictions on the amount of space you've got. So a dual piece, a dual purpose piece of furniture would be very practical. Let's move in a little bit closer and have a better look at it. So, you've got three drawers to the front here, but you've also got flaps with loafers, which allow you to extend the width of the table. Make it far more practical for use. If I can find a little thumbnail for the other loafer, here we are at the other end. So all of a sudden we've increased the surface area and uh, we've got quite a useful little table. When we need the space, we drop them back down and uh, we create more space in our ship's cabin. Now, most of the ones that we see tend to be made of teak and are Anglo-Indian. Made in India for uh, Westerners traveling um, back, to, uh, back to Europe. This one is made out of uh, Asian hardwood. It's very likely Huang Huali um, rather than teak. It would have been made by a Chinese cabinet maker in one of the Chinese ports. These handles are uh, our first obvious sign, really, that it's Chinese export. And that's a, a typical handle used on the better quality Chinese export furniture that you see. The timber is the other giveaway. Now, you probably can't see, but there's also added decoration. There's stringing around here, inlaid to the drawers as well. But over time, of course, it's faded and the colour has merged in more with the uh, rest of the timber, so we've lost it a little bit. The cabin table has got carrying handles to the side. Nice turned legs, which are fixed, never made to be removable. And it's been through the wars a little bit, not a great deal, the condition is fairly good, but we do have quite a major patch here but it looks like it was really done quite some time ago and it's part of the history of the piece, so we're not going to bother changing that. It does have some other secrets to it though. The top lifts up. We've got a brass stay arm there, which just drops in and holds. We've got a little brass catch here, which slides down to release our mirror, which has got a lectern foot at the back which we can just put into a little cutout there and that will hold the mirror ready for use. So you probably would have had a bowl perhaps in one of these drawers or perhaps a shallow bowl stored in there. You'd put your bowl with water in there. In this top drawer, you've got a sliding tray. That might have held your razors, your shaving equipment. And what you may or may not be able to see is We've also got two round patches, one here and one on the other side. Now, I think there's a very good chance that those were sockets to take a brass candle arm, which were removable. Over time, the candle arm probably, or pair of candle arms, probably got lost, parted company with a cabin table, and so eventually someone just patched them. Again, it's part of a history. So we're going to leave that. We've got two other drawers here, both unfitted, no dividers um, to them. But a very nice, useful piece of furniture, especially for modern use, because um, you've got plenty of storage. You can double the size of the tabletop but it's small enough that it'll fit into many environments. So to sum it up it's a Chinese export Huang Huili cabin table 
made for the Westerners passing through the ports to use on board ship, and it's going to be mid-19th century in date.